today the Louisiana Food Banks and the Louisiana Food Bank Association are out here trying to rally support for food bank funding from the state. And what we're asking for is for $5 million to help purchase food from Louisiana fishermen, farmers, vendors, and all this food is going to be given back to the communities of, of Louisiana. All 64 parishes benefit from this because all the food banks serve agencies in those 64 parishes. And so what we're here today is to build awareness but also to let the legislators know that this hunger is a real issue in Louisiana and we do need their help. And quite frankly, whenever I speak to them, I try to remind them that while they do have an awesome responsibility in you know, coming up with the state budget and balancing the budget, that we don't need to forget those less fortunate people, the people who don't have a voice and people who aren't able to come here and speak to them. Today, all of the five Feeding America food banks are here, along with their member agencies and volunteers and people all around the community raising the issue and increasing awareness of the issue of hunger. We know that one out of eight Louisianans struggle to put enough food on the table, one out of five children, one out of six seniors. And we really need for the legislature and our governor to get behind aiding the food banks and aiding our partner agencies as we get food to those people. We have such a, a storied chronic poverty in Louisiana that we need to really try to address. But it's imperative that we look at things differently because we're starting to see seniors who have retired outlive their retirement and need to make, they're make, having to face the choice between prescription medicines or food and that's where we're coming in to try to help. We have children who are going to school hungry who can't really learn. And we have people who are food insecure that are dealing with the physiological changes that that creates by missing meals. Uh, it's the exact opposite of what all the, the trainers, physical trainers, are telling everybody on the way to lose weight is you eat more, smaller meals to accelerate your metabolism. Well, the people we're dealing with and supporting are not having that luxury and they're going periods without meals, so their body is storing more fat, which adds to the obesity problem, which then adds to the public health issue. The demand for the food from the food banks far exceeds the supplies that are out there, and uh, the need is great, and it continues to grow, and it's a you know it's a responsibility for all of us to help support that and participate in um, those areas and provide the necessary nutritious food for those people who are in need. We're just here to remind people that we do feed the less fortunate. One in seven people in Louisiana is served by a food bank. And that's an astounding statistic. And it's not, it's really unacceptable for people to go hungry in our state. And we want the legislator to help us do something about it. It's so important, it's the key to our future, to take care of our seniors, to make sure the kids learn so that we, we will have a flourishing ec economy going forward. But it's also important from a public health perspective because of the cost we're gonna face if we don't do something about the, the obesity issue and, and the problems, the resulting problems that come from diabetes, hypertension, and other things that we need to really try to avoid. And hopefully by improving the nutrition of the chronically poor, the, the, those most in need, that we can do that. The food bank, it was near and dear to me before I got the opportunity to serve on such a wonderful board because my grandmother, she was one of those elderly women that had to choose between medicine or either food. So the food bank box is, was very near and dear to us as far as for her as well as the family. And then my church participating in the food pantry. So it is something, like I said, very near and dear to me. It's a mission that I look to serve for a long time coming. And we also have a, a representative, Ms. Katrina Jackson, who's a very good friend of the food bank, who would like to speak at this time. I think it's afternoon now. Good afternoon. I just left the Senate because we adjourned early, and I want you to know that the Senate may win today, but it's because they cheated, okay? <laughs> Once the House came out of session, they realized they were low, and so my good colleague, Senator Broom, went to the floor and said, hey, every dollar you donate is six pounds of food. So we had the senators giving out $100 bills. So, I mean, that's good for you guys, but it's not good for us because they cheated after we left and we adjourned. So <laughs> may have to fix that Monday, but I want to welcome you to the Capitol, let you know that we're still fighting for you. We know that's very important. We're doing everything we can. Uh, it is tough financial times, but there are just some things that are important, and that's what we've been pressing the message, that the food banks are important. I want to thank my local food bank. They always keep us informed. And keep us up on what's going on. I also want to thank the Commission of Agriculture, who's been a strong supporter of the food banks. And so uh, just good luck and know that we're fighting for you. And just because the budget looks one way doesn't mean it's, it's going to look that way when it comes out of here. Okay, guys? Be encouraged on that. How y'all doing? Uh, 
Uh, I was so proud when I saw so many of you upstairs and in the Senate. And uh, but we did incentivize our group over there. I told them I, I, I probably misled them a little. I thought that $20 bill was 100. I said everybody match that 100 of mine. Uh, but I see you got a, a Mike Strain here, our Commissioner of Agriculture. Uh, no one works harder than him in the state. Anytime we have a shortage, he comes up to bat for us. And that little incident we had in Shreveport where, you know, for the, for the hungry, you know, food is important to all of us. And they had some food. Did you tell them about that, Mike? Uh, they gave, you know, hunters give their deer to food kitchens and uh, some inspector didn't really know what he was supposed to do, took thousands of pounds and and uh, poured chemicals on it and threw it in the garbage can where nothing could eat it. Well, they came up short and a lot of people were hungry and in need, as we all know. And Mike Strain went to the chicken uh, producers and uh, packers and got them to donate thousands of pounds of food to the needy. So, uh, and, and it wasn't about, look what I did. He was saying, you know, they need the food. So that's the attitude we got to have. I think the Lord requires of us to take care of the needy. And I remind people that all the time. Used to, I was a little bit hesitant to talk about that, but if we don't talk about who's in charge and give him the honor and the glory and the thank, uh, we're, we're, we're not doing our job. So I'm proud to be a part of any movement that helps people less fortunate uh, obtain things they need. We're all for everybody that can to produce, but those that cannot, it's our obligation, our responsibility as human beings and Louisianians to make sure we serve those needy. And that's almost a million in our state. And it's a lot, and the ones that suffer, we all know are usually the elderly, those that are incapacitated or can't get around as well. Those children that know no better, they just look to someone else to take care of them. So. We're going to try to do our part, and I'm going to talk it up as much as I can. And I want us to beat the House since they've got 105 members. We only have 39. But uh, so you tell them I said that where they'll put up a little bit of money, too, before 1 o'clock. But uh, let's, don't, let's, don't, let's don't give up any ground. Let's join uh, with others and get more in our ranks next year and put a lot of pressure on people, good people in Louisiana that have the necessary wealth to be able to feed those that need it. So all we got to do is get the word out. People will support us. Thank you and may God bless you and your family. The first thing to recognize is that hunger is a real issue in our state. It's not something that's just overseas that you see on, you know, infomercials. Hunger is real and our neighbors, you know, people in our own communities and our backyards need our help. And that's the first thing to understand. You know, if you want to know how you can help, you can contact your local food bank. Food banks need three things. We need donations of food, money, and time. So if you want to volunteer, get your church group or your youth group involved, you can certainly help that way. Making a financial donation is always a wonderful thing. And then of course doing food drives. That's another way you can help support the food banks and their programs. Reminding people in, the, in this the hectic pace of everything that goes on in our lives that there are people who are in our own communities who really need help. And it's not the stereotypical welfare mom with, with kids that we're serving. We're serving the working poor, we're serving senior citizens, and the majority of the people that we serve are single moms. So, you know, people that are working and trying to play by the rules but still aren't able to feed their families. And so it's not what you typically think. You know, we are right now have a food shortage. A lot of the food banks, the five food banks in Louisiana are really struggling to, to put food in their warehouses to get out in the communities and we, we need support. We need support from our legislators and our congressmen. We also need support from our citizens here. 
You know, in every community across the state, we see food insecurity and food hunger issues. And without the funding to, pro to provide the food that we need to do our job, so many people go without meals every day. Food banks and the agencies that we work with, we rely on community support. 80% in our case at Second Harvest, 80% of all the support we get is private. Private individuals who donate their time, who raise food for us, who raise funds for us. And so this is really a community effort and it's because of the community that we can serve these people. It's Louisiana taking care of Louisiana people. So volunteering with your local food bank, you know, helping us by speaking out to your, your leaders here in Baton Rouge about the importance of this issue and about the fact that no one in Louisiana should worry about where their next meal is coming from. And what's, what's the message you want to get out there to everybody about this? That hunger is an important issue, that too many Louisianans face hunger, that hunger affects everything. It affects your health, it affects your ability to learn if you're a child, it affects your productivity if you're trying to get a job. It's an issue that we can solve together, but we need to solve it and we need everyone in Louisiana to come together to do that. Huge thank you to the community. We, we are doing what we're doing because of their support. We respond to disasters because this community comes together. Food banks are always there on the front lines. But we're as good as the community we serve, and we have a very special community here in Louisiana. You know, everybody can help. They can contact their legislators to explain to them that how important food insecurity is, help us with our mission. They can go back into their communities, do food drives, get with their churches to help support us in the distribution of food. There's so many different ways that our communities can support what we do and to help their community become stronger, especially when it comes to children and seniors. You know, in Northwest Louisiana, one in five children is food insecure, meaning when they go home tonight, they're not going to have a balanced meal. And, you know, we want to invest in our youth. These are our future. And without proper nutrition, we're concerned what is that going to look like in years to come, especially our seniors too. You know, they have worked hard, they've given back to the state, and now and in the golden years of their life, if they are facing nutritional issues, we need to be there to help them too. Louisiana food for Louisiana people! Yeah.